Hello and welcome to another maintenance blog, this time from the crocodile infested mangroves of Cairns in Northern Australia. This week it's the Lumar 50A electric winch that's playing up. This problem began literally on the other side of the world, but because it's been intermittent and there's a manual override anyway, it's never found its way to the top of the jobs list until now. So the port side electrical winch has been um, playing up. It's been really intermittent and to the point where it's actually stopped. I needed to clear out the locker just so I can get to the, the wire work really. I mean, the fact that it's working sometimes and others means it can't be a fuse or anything too bad. It just means there's a loose connection somewhere. So I've, I've looked at all the obvious places, all the chock blocks and the connections and there's nothing untoward happening there. So uh, I think the problem might lie in the circuit board somewhere, which is not really my area of expertise. first job we had to do was uh, clear out the locker um, and there's these lockers are really deep and there's stuff that gets shoved at the back there so we haven't been in there for a while so uh, it's taken up uh, most of the cockpit just uh, clearing out that locker and I've got to squeeze in there uh, with my bad back and try and find the problem You holding it down? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, so the problem seems to be on the circuit board and um, where the switch is connected to the circuit board, um, there's a loose connection there, but to get the circuit board off, I've got to take all the wires out. So it's number one that there's a loose connection on that one. Doing a continuity test, there's definitely a loose connection on this uh, terminal block and it seems to be on number one. And it doesn't quite sit right on the circuit board. It's like it's a little bit skew if. And if I press down on it, there's a connection. And if I kind of take the pressure off, there isn't. So I need to take that off and re-solder it. To take it off, I need some solder wick, which just so happened my buddy boat on tea time had some. I think that's in uh, Hungarian or something. But anyway, this, this basically absorbs the solder. So when you kind of heat the solder up, this wicks it up and uh, you can remove the component. Never done this before actually, but it'd be interesting to see. So as I was trying to wick it up, the solder disappeared into a hole in the circuit board, plugging it up. So just on the off chance, I thought I'd test it again. So lo and behold, it was working reliably again. So I thought it would be prudent just to reinstate it the way it was. So I'm just gonna put a bit of contact adhesive on there, just to hold that in place, because I don't want it to get lost in the bottom of the locker, which I know it will as soon as I start putting it on. Just a quick reminder that if you do find these videos useful and you'd like to return a favour, then you can click on the thanks button below this video and buy me a cold one.
which would be very much appreciated. So that was the electric winch restored and now time for a quick swim before the next job. Or maybe not. That's it, thanks for watching and thanks in particular to our patrons who make all things possible. If you want to become a patron, just follow the links in the description below. Be sure to check out our other sailing and travel channel, Mothership Adrift. You can also check out our merch store with mugs and t-shirts with our Mothership branding. <laughs>